Um, alright chat, this is gonna take forever. Let me know when the YCS starts. I'm gonna try and build it. Infernality. Infernality. Alright, let's see, what do we got here? Brother in Christ, ultra rare. Do you even need to play three? That's what I'm wondering, do you even need to play three? I don't know. Alright, they probably want like one or two Mirage. Two launch, ultra rare launch here. The Infinite Void. The Infinite Void. Oh my god, have you guys read Infernity Pawn? During your draw phase, you have no cards in your hand. Instead of your normal draw, banish this from your grave and place Inferni card from your deck on top of your deck. Or set a void spell. Uh, so they've had. So I haven't like checked out Infernity too much in recent years, but they've had a couple of su support cards since. Probably want like a couple of breaks and barriers. And then you got this little doohickey here called Infernity Paranoia. You contribute a dark and special Infernity from your deck or grave of the same level but a different name. Um, but negate its effects. So that's the problem is, uh, negates the effects here. And I saw some people running this card here, Infernity Sage. Basically, the way that people have been trying to play this is like... I, I was doing some research, I was looking up some, uh, some replays and stuff, and kind of basically what people have been doing is trying to play like 3-axis Infernity. You go, you summon Cherubini, you dump Fiendish Rhino Warrior, Fiendish Rhino Warrior sends Infernity Sage. And then Infernity Sage says, this card is sent to the grave, send an Infernity Monster. So you send Archfiend. So basically, Cherubini plus uh, Revival equals, like, combo, I guess. Uh, something like that. Um, yeah, I guess we'll just try and build it, Forehead. Uh, so there's a couple of Void cards as well they've had recently. Let's see, there's a Void, void Expansion, Void... Void something, what is it called? The Void card they had, that's good. Void Apocalypse, this thing. You can discard a card and then see, send a Fiend from your deck to the grave. That's basically it. The rest of the effect is irrelevant. It's Infernoid support. But just discard a card and then send a Fiend from deck to grave. So, you know, Stygian Steep Street Patrol. As a fiend, we can send Stygian Street Patrol, probably gonna play three of this. Uh, as for the other Infernity monsters, I mean, there's Archfiend and Necromancer, but I think you probably could play one of this, and then... The question is, do we play the Synchro? I mean, he's a Synchro. So you can go like, 4 plus 2, 6 plus 3 is 9? An awkward level, isn't it? The only other Synchro you can play is like, Avenger. Do we play Inver Avenger, or do we play, like, Wildcat or something? Like, the these new ones, I haven't really read them too much. Uh, level 3, you can play. Uh, special summon this card from your hand by sending another Infernity from your hand to the grave. You can special summon once per turn this way. While you have no cards in your hand, you can banish Infernity from your grave, increase or decrease this level by 1. Um, I guess we play, like, one Wildcat? What does Creepy Little Punk do? I hate this card's name. Special one of your infernities that is banished during your hand or graveyard. By the way, you can special summon Mirage, I think. Mirage says cannot be specialed from the graveyard. But you can special summon it when it's banished, when you copy it with Hundred Eyes Doom Dragon. It's kind of nuts. Also, you search this with uh, Archfiend. Uh, face up Infernity, you control destroy by battle, least field because of an opponent's card effect. Set this card. I don't know, do you play like three of this thing? I don't know. I can't tell. Like, is it two or three? Return of the Reapers and Master Duel? Yeah. It is. What happened in translation? I don't know. Konami being funny, I guess. I don't know about three. Three easily? I should probably just go, like, check some of the replays I saw and then just kind of go from there. Uh, some of the staple cards in this deck list is, like, Sir Yuja. Uh, Ampeloza. I think you play, like, the Nightmare stuff just to make, like, zones. Uh, I guess you play, like, Levier, and the Hundred Eyes, Hundred Eyes, yeah, I mean, you can, you can play, like, what's it called, um, to the underworld in, it, 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 like, Thanks the Trishula thing is, like, kind of gimmicky, and I'm not a fan of it, uh, yeah, Cherubini, I have to recraft this, <laughs> isn't that sad, isn't that sad, chat? I'm gonna play Trubini, and I don't care. I, you can say, like, no, but you dusted your BA cards. No, I... Well, shut up. I'm not playing it because it's fucking BA, okay? Shut up. 
Void Ogre Dragon. Yeah, you probably play like a Void Ogre. Uh, Void Ogre, I don't think we play Doom Dragon. Um, do you play any other like level 8 synchros? Ribbony is generic, exactly. To the underworld with you. Oh, I see you are playing Setting Summon a Monk. <laughs> yes! Savage Dragon? Oh, yeah, Savage. Yeah, probably play Savage. Uh, Boral Lord Savage Dragon, yes. Chaos Ruler in this deck? I don't know. You don't really want to add the card from your deck to your hand, do you? Uh, I think it's mostly Link Monsters. I think is really how you play Infernity is like it's it's a it's a Link it's a Link deck. Infernality. Let's go uh, see some replays here. Infernity Master Duel. I think I watched like every Master Duel Infernity video over the course of the last while. Post Bandless Infernity and Decklist. Oh yeah, Dangers. Yeah, I think Dangers is the best way to play this. There's also like Punks. But yeah, I think this is kind of like, oh yeah, there's this like weird proxy magician combo this this replay was doing. Let's see if uh, he does it here. Yeah, this channel is kind of weird. It had like this weird like meta commentary here. It was kind of odd. Um, anyway, this looks like a Cherubini play here. Revive Archfiend is playing Patriot. Okay, so this thing here. Proxy Magician. So I think like when Proxy Magician summons a guy to the zone, you can like fuse it. Oh no, it's just it's just polymerization on legs. So you fuse your Necromancer and Archfiend, and then it just summons a fusion, and then it reborns from graveyard or hand. So you can go like Proxy Magician plus this combo. Um, and it just tr helps trigger, and then you just keep going, and then you go into Saryujo. Um, after your Archfiend search, so it's kind of cool. Oh, and you can make Baron with Infernity Sage. And then you just do a uh, Hundred Eyes loops from here. Levier, bring back Mirage, and then you just make, you know, Link Monsters for Meteor Apollosa because you need the space. You would think, like, Infernity had, like, this weird issue where you had to Dire Wolf pop your own cards. Um, but, like... You know, see, this guy as well, Doom Archfiend, that guy, like, sucks. Like, this is not good. Equip Star Yuja. Yeah, so this is, like, punk stuff. So, I don't know, that's, like, one strategy. Um, I think Dangers and, like, stuff seems, like, to make the most sense. I think, I want to say. Like, so I'm probably going to throw some Dangers in here. Three Axis Dangers. Um... I don't know if you play Nessie, though. Because if Nessie hits the field, what do you do with Nessie? It doesn't do anything. Uh, the new event is tomorrow, right? No, it's on uh, Tuesday. Um, that's kind of crazy. I can't tell if you're if you're trolling. Worst case scenario, it's Synchro Material for a Saryuja Material. I suppose... Alright, let's, uh, let's play Lionel Nessie. Nessai! Is this for event or ranked? I guess ranked, but... You know. You play Maxi? <laughs> Into the Void. I mean, just draw cards, right? Like... Sure. Into the Void, draw Archfiend, baby. See, this is playing one Archfiend! That was- see, that's what I was thinking, like... Do you even want to play three Archfiend? I don't know. I- I don't know. I legitimately don't know. Uh, here's the decklist here. This one's playing one Archfiend as well. Oh, it's all these like small Yugi Troopers just net decking each other. Yeah, they're all just playing like the same deck list. <laughs> Look, mom, no hands. Um, they don't play patrol. What does that mean? Here's another deck list here. Yeah, this looked like like the three axis stuff. Oh my god, it's like the card for card. Transmodify. This one's playing three void apocalypse. Double Hundred Eyes, Borgor to get a discard, I suppose. Yeah, this is like months ago, dude. So that's why it's got like Halka Fibrax as an engine in here. But there's like a lot of plays that you could do without like Halka, Halka Fibrax. Uh, I guess we probably play like one Patriarch. I, I guess we don't need more than one Archfiend. Uh, we are, however, going to need some... Uh 
some lawn chairs. That card is a three of. How many gems do I have? 37? Alright, good infernity cards, chat. Prediction. Good infernity card. That means second necromancer, an archfiend, or lawn chair. Yes, no. From 10 packs, get it twisted. Getting three Archfiend! One for Archfiend is enough for combo. This version does not play Ares, Patrol, and Void because it only goes for Dump, Archfiend, Revive. There is also the Double Foolish combo where you get Arch and Hand with Ares, and the second Foolish Void Apocalypse is for Street Patrol. Is it better though? Why can't I see the Gamba? I don't know, don't live in Sweden or something, I guess. Ooh, we have an Ultra! We have an Ultra into the Void! Into the void. Boing. Paranoia, Avenger, Break, Wildcat. On a scale of Ace to Dogwater, how is how is this deck gonna be? I mean, Infernity is really good. Like, actually unbeatable if you go first and your opponent doesn't stop you. Like, you can't beat an Infernity board. Like, they just set up, like, four Material Apollosa, Barrier, Barrier, Break, um... Like it's it's ridiculous, but we live in a mess. we live in a get world of Yu-Gi-Oh where hand traps are a thing. All right, this is it. Ultra rare from the pack. Is it lawn chair? No, it's Doom Dragon. No, you could say that for like every combo deck. Pretty much. Suppression Archer. No cards in your hand. It can attack directly. Wow, that's crazy. Imagine just playing like. I don't know. Anime Infernity. Like, actual just anime Infernity. If this card attacks while you have no cards in your hand, your opponent can activate spells and traps until after the damage step. Look at that. Imagine just summoning Infernity Beast to just stop Mirror Force, like, and then pass. Like, that's your deck, you know? It might be a new top 16 in the final round. There were six table draws. Uh, yeah, they're doing an investigation. They're probably banning people. Wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised. Suppression lets you beat hand traps, kinda. Nah, it doesn't. It doesn't let you beat hand traps. Um, if your opponent is letting you, um, is letting you get to Archfiend to search suppression, like no. Damn, what if they also unban people? Imagine. Archfiend! All right, we got the one Archfiend we needed. Now we just need some lawn chairs. Because I, uh, I literally just pulled Infernity Archfiend. Surely that should let me search another copy of uh, an Infernity card from the pack to the hand. Now I just get to add lawn chair from the uh, the booster box. Last chance. Last chance. Oh, is it Necromancer? Oh wow, that's a in this pack. Okay. Alright, chant. Unironically, good Infernity card has been pulled. Okay, I feel like going back in here would just be a waste of a thousand gems. Has to be, right? Yeah, we need to craft two lawn chairs now. Ow. Uh, so what should I play with this deck, then? Honestly, I kind of want to just import this into Dueling Book before I start crafting things. Um, do we play Paranoia? Punk engine, not a bad idea. What do you do with the punks? What do you do with the punk? I go like Zayaman, normal summon. Zayaman for, for what? What am I doing with the punks? Like, it's like, go Magic Ruler? Maybe? Do we like actually go Magic Ruler? Or um, make a rank 3? Make Dante for Cherubini? I kind of just want to throw this into DB and do some test hands. I kind of... I'm going to be honest, Chad. I kind of just want to put this on the Deutsch banner. I don't really want to want to craft things until I know. Probably smarter than crafting everything. Yep. All right. Uh, Infernality. What's stopping you? I'm trying to not use the Deutsch banner as much as I can. 
Infernality. All right, what are we doing? We're playing to this, to this, two, one. Uh, break, break, barrier. Why are these not loading? No, no pictures here, I guess. Uh, bypass. You get two lawn chairs now. Three, two, one. What else am I running in here? Creepy little punk. Wait, is this card not in TCG? This creepy little punk. Oh, Return of the Reaper? Oh, it's not out yet? Wait, what? This card is in Master Duel, but it's not in TCG? What? Uh, Infernity Paranoia. Maybe the Dark and Special and Infernity from your deck or grave with the same level but a different name. But its effects are negated. Is this even worth it? What, Paranoia Tribute Armageddon Knight? Special Summon Archfiend, but it's negated? That seems kind of bad. Nessie, Jackalope, and Sook. Uh, let's put Cherubini in here. Probably need to play like two Cherubini, right? Just in case. Alright, let's go Borlord, Apollo. Let's just fill out like the main deck. Let's go Punk Engine. Alright, what do we want? Like two Zyaman? Two Zyaman, Foxy, maybe a Deer Note? I mean, this is like horrible to draw, right? Like horrible. We just use this exclusively for like a Cherubini play and that's it. One Foxy, one Ogre Dancer. I kind of like the idea of going Magic Dragon. Uh, let's play Into the Void. What is that I want to play here? I guess we play Teleport at 2. It's at 2 in Master Duel, right? Uh, what else were they doing in the videos? Bro, this top 16 is actually just not happening. <laughs> like, this top cut is just not happening. My handless combo. What was this? 5 months ago, 3 months ago, 12 days ago. I'm gonna stop with this guy playing. 12 days ago, huh? Let's net deck. Reborn and Foolish. Oh, yeah, yeah, You want to play, like, the full, like, Succession lineup. Succession, Reborn. Um, and maybe some defensive cards. Hard Destruction for deck out, baby. Why is this Archfiend picture not loading? Patriarch. And Infernity Sage. I guess we'll play Sage. Okay. And the extra deck is like Dugger Dugger Ass. Do we like this Proxy Magician combo? Proxy Magician. Okay, how does this card work? Only two barriers? It's not good to draw, you just search it. Proxy Magician. So it's just two effect monsters. During your main phase, fusion summon using monsters on your field as material. The fusion monster is summoned to his own special monster with a thousand or less attack from your hand. Like, that's actually kind of a cool combo. I'm going to play that. You go proxy magician, fuse into starving venom. Um, and then I guess that's like a linear combo that gets you into Baron with, with, with sage. To summon a necromancer from your hand. That's like kind of genius. How the hell did someone even find that? Omega, Dugares, Almirage. Okay. Aryuja, Mirage. Uh, let's play Nightmares, I guess. And what does he have? A Peloza, that, Void Ogre, Hundred Eyes. Okay. Hundred Eyes, Dim Dragon. And what's your last two cards? Cosmic Cyclone. All right, let's just go full combo for now and just see what we can uh, what we can craft here. Uh, do you still try AFD for a free special summon? Um, play like Destrudo for AFD in this deck. To the underworld with you. Far through FYI, Runic Infernity seems to be quite a good variant. Just a bunch of extenders that empty the hand easily. Moon in Mech's Cherub Farfair. 
I just, like, the thought- I'm sick of Runic, dude. It's like, I'm just gonna play that in, uh... I'm just gonna play that in any- in- in, in the- in the- what's it called? Um... In- in ranked when I have to be competitive. Infernality. Do we not want to run Void Apocalypse? Maybe. If you little punk. Uh, how does this card work? Special one of your infernities banishing your grave. Uh, sure, okay. Uh, every time we use a danger, we shuffle our hand, and then we discard the left one. Okay. Nessie effect. Uh, pretty good. Uh, okay, so let's go set set, normal, let's go into Cherubini, Cherubini send Rhino, oh shit, did I not play Rhino? Okay, pretend I'm playing Rhino, then you go Sage for Archfiend, uh, then you go Punk, so it specials an Inferni that is banished in your hand or in your graveyard. Face up Inferni, you control the destroy a battle, these fields with a card effect reset. Okay, so this is literally just Monster Reborn. Okay. It's literally, literally just Monster Reborn. Um, oh, actually, obviously, we just summon Necromancer first. Then we summon Archfiend. Um, how do you get to the Synchro stuff with, like, Avenger? Okay, we could search Patriarch here. Ooh, I think you definitely play Dugaris. Yeah, let's play a Dugaris. This card just specials itself, you control no monsters. Also, we could special summon with a... Uh, with what's it called? Um, You are playing Dugaris? Oh yeah, I am, okay. Okay, so we go Dugaris. Uh, detach two. Special Archfiend. Archfiend effect. Um, and then... Lawn, is it Lawn Chair time? Or Mirage? How do I get the Tuner in circulation, though? Oh, I don't need the Tuner in circulation, actually. Oh, I know what we do here. Okay, so now we do the Proxy Magician play. Uh, during your main... So just two effect monsters. Okay, so we go Proxy Magician. Uh, fuse these two together. Special Summon Starving Venom. This triggers Proxy Magician. Um, wait, did the arrows matter? Oh, okay, alright. Uh, where was Dugaris? It was like here or some shit. Okay, so this guy needs to be up here. And then we fuse the Infernity monsters away. Then we trigger this. This summons it from the hand. And then Mirage brings back... <laughs> running out of space, huh? Infernity problems. <laughs> Infernity problems, huh? Running out of space, huh? Crazy. Um, and then I guess we just go into... Another Mirage. Synchro Sage and Venom into Baron. And then we go Link 4 into Saryuja. And then draw 4. Um, put back everything. 1, 2, and... We could probably just search this, right? So we keep this, and then we go into the Punk Engine. Oh, no, no, that's bad. That's bad, right? Because we need a discard. But we can search this anyway. We just use this as a body. Alright, Ziaman. Uh, no effect. Top 16 back soon. Oh, soon! Uh, so you just special summon Mirage. Flag! Infernity Mirage, bring back... These. Uh, Necromancer effect. Put someone Archfiend. And now it's time for a lawn chair. Um. 
How did you Baron? Uh, Infernity Sage is a tuner. Into Levier, but you didn't put it. I do have Levier. Oh, I forgot. Oh, okay, but like... Well, how do I banish Mirage? Hmm. How do you banish Mirage? You're supposed to banish it with something. I forgot how. Uh, three, six, eight. I guess I can go into Bar uh, Oral Lord. Equip a link to here. Um, lawn chair, bring back Necromancer Sage. Wait, was that two tuners? Oh, it was two tuners. Ooh. Okay. I don't think we should have went for the Ziyaman. I think we should have just went for the barrier on that Saryuja. It's kind of just clogging the field and not really doing anything. Uh, so now we go for a 4 material Ampelosa. Um, and then we go into Lawn Chair. Uh, do we want to go double Necromancer here? Sure, why not? Uh, summon, summon. Archfiend gets another Lawn Chair. Um, and then we bring back Patriarch. How do you banish the uh, Necromance, uh, the 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 Mirage? It's it's from Doom Dragon, isn't it? But like, how do you get the tuner in circulation? That's the problem. To the underworld with you. Like, how do I get access to the tuner? I have to search it. You have a tuner, right, Sage? Yeah, but it's like oh, it's not the right levels. Sage is level two. If I bring back Sage, it's like, what do I summon with this? Two, four, six. Stage plus double necro. Oh. Okay. Bro, this deck runs out of space. Like, how? Okay, so 100 eyes turns into that. We go double necro again. Um, we use one of the necromancers to bring back Patriarch. And then, like, what do you do here? You just kind of, like, you just stuck. Like, you just have, like, cards. I guess we don't bring back Patriarch, we just bring back the uh, Sage, and then we just do it again. To make another level 8 Synchro. Um, and then we just go Boral, Boral Lord. Um, and then you go Necromancer plus Patriarch. And then just make like a Link 2 here. Uh, we can make an Indestructible by Battle... Apollosa. And then this? Do we need to play like Trigate Wizard and stuff? You can pop your Archfiend with Baron. Oh yeah! Yeah, we can pop Archfiend and then fucking bring it back and then search the last break. Oh, I don't even play I play two and one. I can search creepy little punk. Don't think you have enough space um, for try. Yeah, I know. I mean, this was my first test hand. What the hell? But yeah, there's definitely some there's there's definitely some space problems. Like for sure, there's like definitely some space op uh, some space problems here. Oh, have they finally sat down for top sixteen? We don't make a level 6 with a Necro, an Archfiend and second Necro, who is level 8 with the Synchro 6 and double Necro becomes Levier. Wait, hold on, he's spitting. Hang on, this guy's spitting. A level 6 with Necro and Archfiend. And then the second Necro goes into an 8. Okay, so your second Necro you bring back the uh, Sage and then you go an 8 into the thing and then with the Synchro 6 and then double Necro become Levier. Okay. 
So I think you have to play Infernity Doom, uh, Infernity like Doom Archfiend. Got one you. of this. You, you were watching my GF's video. Oh, we don't need double turbo. She's really good with Infernity. Been playing it since 5D zero. Oh, holy shit! Thank you, Witch. Uh, thanks for the sub. Uh, your your girlfriend is apparently very good at uh Infernity. Doom Arch is part of your synchro ladder. Yeah, there you go. I don't know about the punks, by the way. Didn't seem in. Uh, did I like them? I don't know. This card is sick, though. This is just another re monster reborn. Oh, yeah, Rhino Warrior. Do we need Patriarch? I guess it's okay because it gets you Doom Dragon. Uh, sorry, Dugarass. Maybe you just don't play Avenger. I think you play 111 Foxy Ogre. I'm in. Maybe. If you hate them, just throw in four hand traps instead. Hand traps in Infernity. Man just told me to play hand traps in Infernity. To be fair, you could play Imperm, I suppose. Um. What else can we play here? He doesn't know. No dear no, cause no help. This looks quite similar to a Super Quantal deck. You don't need double Mirage, by the way. Probably not. Maxi can be discarded and Imperm can be set. The thing is, I don't know if you want to Maxi. Like, I mean, I guess you could, like, just play Maxi because it's Master Duel. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, drawing cards in Inferno, it doesn't matter. Like, just set them and discard them and stuff. Like, Talents, maybe? Yeah, like, Talents is okay. Well, you probably need some defensive cards, right? All right, draw. That was a misplay. All right, we eat Telly first, then into the void. No, actually, we deck them first. Uh, we add Foxy Tune. Um, how does how does this work, by the way? You um, let me just restart this hand. In a rush. This is my hand. The underworld. What should I do? I go E, I go Ziyaman, summon Ziyaman. Yeah, sorry, E Telly summon Ziyaman, then what? Do I go Foxy Tune for Ziyaman? Or do I go Ogre Dancer for something? Just normal summon it? Ziyaman doesn't search Ziyaman. Add a punk monster except Ziyaman. Yeah. Do we just go Ogre Dancer, summon. Wait, what was my ratio? It was 2 2 1, wasn't it? Did I cut it? Oh, this Ogre Dancer is supposed to be a uh, Ziyaman. Is this Master Duel? Uh, the build is, yes. This is, this is a Master Duel build. Okay, add Foxy Tune and then just, I don't know, just draw a card. See what this gets. A danger. Sure. Um. This is supposed to be a second Ziyaman. Set two. Uh, Jackalope. Uh, special summon Sook. Uh, Cherubini with the second Ziyaman. Then you go Fiendish Rhino Warrior for Sage for Archfiend. Uh, and then we go, we give the Suck. Archfiend. Archfiend search. What do we search with Archfiend now? Nessie triggers. Uh, no, Foxy Chun sends. It doesn't discard your hand. Uh, Necro, because you didn't normal. I guess. Normal summon. Oh, wait, this is level 3. What do I do with this? Okay, we just link these two into Proxy Magician. And then we use Necromancer. Revive Archfiend. And then we search another Necromancer. Or Mirage? I think it's Mirage, right? Is 
second necro first. What? How the, when did you guys become experts in uh, Infernity? <laughs> when did you guys become Infernity experts? Um, I made the video. Giga chat. Proxy magician fuse these. Uh, trigger the proxy magician. Summon necromancer. Necromancer summon archfiend. Oh uh, wait, no, you don't. Wait, do you? Wait, yeah. These? Then you go Mirage, right? Join the Infernity Discord, it'll be fun. There's an Infernity Discord! I'm down! Free Danger Search, level 3 body for Levier, for Tribity, for King of the Pharaoh Imps. Bro, that sounds terrible. That sounds terrible. All right, one, two, three, and... Do I kind of want to leave this on the field so I can make Baron? Yeah, let's do that, probably. All right, draw four. Uh, sure, we can, like, set talents, I guess. All right, we go Skaldred. Double Necromancer. Special summon Sage, special summon Archfiend, Archfiend effect, and it's time for a lawn chair. Um, I want to synchro these off first, right? I'm going to go 100 eyes. Okay, 100 eyes first. 100 eyes for Mirage, bring back double Necromancer. One of the Necromancers brings back Sage. Sage and Archfiend go into Doom Archfiend. First Necromancer brings back Archfiend. Archfiend, sir. Yep, Archfiend. Yep, Archfiend. Archfiend the deck, huh? This combo dies to Ash, right? Yes. Call, yeah, yes. Uh, <laughs> bad deck from many years ago with shitty new support does die to Cantrap. Yes, thank you for pointing that out. Um, oh, maybe we don't go for Archfiend yet. No, we go for Sage here. Uh, bring back another Sage. Um, he's going to Baron. And then, like, link all of these into... Oh, no, doesn't Apollosa say different name? Yeah, fucking different names, dude. Okay, I think this is a Levier line here. All right, so we go this. And then we overlay these into Levier. Levier brings back Mirage. Mirage brings back Necromancer and Archfiend, question mark? Probably Lamal. Oh, this guy hasn't been used yet, actually. All right, now we search our first, like, barrier. Search barrier. One, two, three, four. Into four material Apollosa. Activate this. Yep, Archfiend. Uh, I'm literally not going to have any searches left. I guess we'll go Creepy Little Punk now. And uh, Creepy Little Punk can summon you. Six, nine. What are you supposed to do with it? It's such a weird, like, number. It's nine. Is it? Is there anything I can make with nine? Like, do we play a Trish? Like, is it worth it? Like, summon Sage makes Savage. How do you make Savage? Double Necromancer? I also don't remember if this uh, Necromancer has been used. To tell you the truth. Alt Red Dragon of Nine. Necro for Sage. Have I used this? I don't remember anymore. <laughs> I don't remember if we've used this Necro. Sage and Double Necro is such a weird combo. Okay, so maybe... Uh, you have another engrave? Oh, I know, but like... Okay, so we don't search this, because we I don't think we bring that back. I think we go double necro first. And then we go 662. Sorry, 332. Into this. This equips a fucking four material savage drag. <laughs> sorry, Yujo. 
Then we go Necro... Necro Arch? It's a linear combo? This is just the same end board. Is it really the same? Like, is that the plan? Indestructible Apollosa. Bring this back. Arch Break. I mean, no deck is outing this, but obviously, you know, consistency. <laughs> Uh, kind of linear, but getting to it is the hard part. Um, she's down to VC with you? Nah, I'm just fucking around clicking buttons. I'll uh, do a serious deck with this n later in the future. I'm just waiting for Top Cut. Which, by the way, holy crap, how long is it going to be? Did you make IP? Um, I mean, instead of this, this could be an IP, but that doesn't seem really worth it. Does Infernity have a field spell? We're missing one zone. True. IP into what? I don't know, you can make goddess jump scare and stuff. Look at this, man. Like, what beats this? Like, actually, what beats this? It has to be, like, something dumb, like, bullet mode evenly or something. I don't even know if that works. What are you gonna bullet mode? You have to bullet mode Archfiend to turn off the, bar the barriers and breaks, but, well, it only turns off barrier. So you could actually summon this in attack mode to play around bullet mode. Like, how do you out this? Like, actually, like, you need, like, a dumb combination of cards in your hand. Evenly reboot, but... I guess. Double Dart Ruler? Okay, double Dart Ruler into combo. No, you need triple Dart Ruler. What do you mean? You need literally triple Dart Ruler. Um, evenly reboot dies to double barrier. True! Um... Three Lightning Storm, two Dart Ruler, Sprite Starter. <laughs> um, okay, three Lightning Storms. Super Poly into Mud Dragon, Battle Phase, Beat Over, Archfiend. Yeah. Basically, like, no real actual meta yeah, card is beating this. We are like, wrong. you would need, like, extremely specific garbage to, like, beat a board like this. Uh, okay, do we like the Punks chant? I can't tell. I, I can't tell if I like the punks or not. It would be really good if this deck had a good normal summon. Like you don't need you don't need your normal summon in this deck. So like, if we want to just make Trubini, what if we unironically just played three tour guys? You know, Farfa, you disenchanted your Burning Abyss deck. You know, we gave you a pass with Trubini. Now you're slowly putting Tour Guide in here. What next? Huh? What's next? Huh? Huh? What are you doing next? Huh? What, are you, what is this you doing here? That's a little bit silly, huh? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing, Farfa? Huh? Uh, we went from Tour Guide. We went from Punks to, yeah, to Tour Guide, huh? Then well, what next? Yeah, Graf and Seer, you know, for the Trivini. Yeah, then maybe a Dante, Mill and Archfiend, you know. Then suddenly we're smoke screening. We're slowly just recrafting BA at this point, huh? Uh, Foxy. Foxy. What on earth is going on in the background of the YCS? Does anyone have any clue what's going on? Nobody knows, man. This is top 16, by the way. Top 16 is playing out. Like, they are playing top 16, but there's no feature match for some reason. There's Pac. That's Pac, right? Pac, Shimpin, Cody. Yeah, like, I don't know what's going on, man. I don't know what's going on. <sighs> this is, like, depressing, dude. All right, Chad, I'm gonna dip. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm gonna dip. Um, I, I just, I, I see the end. Like, it's 10.30 at night, and top, six, top Cut hasn't started. Like, I'm just, this is, this is just un, unbearable, dude. I'm really sorry. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow, though, at the usual time. Um, take care, everyone. Hope you have an amazing stream. Hope you have an amazing time. I'm gonna pass you on over to Josh. I'm sure you have plenty of content to watch over there. 
Uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for having a great time with me. Uh, peace out. Love you all. Appreciate it as always. And yeah, I might watch some of Top Cut tomorrow. I mean, I might watch some of it tonight in bed, but I just, do I want to stream it? Like, I just, I'm getting exhausted, man. Like, how have we not started Top Cut, dude? I swear this has been like an hour and a half.